The main cabin door is now closed and we're ready for takeoff. The destination, the Skift Aviation Forum. Happening in Dallas this November, on stage you'll hear from the CEOs of American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and so many more. Reserve your seat today at live.skift.com. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, October 10th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Marriott has reached an agreement with 49 states and Washington, D.C. to pay $52 million to settle charges related to data security, writes senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. O'Neill notes the settlement with the states relates to a database security incident in 2018 in the guest reservation system of Starwood, a hotel group Marriott had just acquired. And the Federal Trade Commission is requiring Marriott to put in place a new data security program following three breaches from 2014 to 2020 that affected over 300 million people worldwide. Next, 2025 might not be full of blockbuster activity for online travel agencies. The sector is projected to see more stock buybacks, but not a lot of mergers and acquisitions, writes executive editor Dennis Shaw. A BTIG research report revealed that Airbnb, Booking Holdings, and Expedia Group will likely generate between $15 billion and $16 billion in free cash flow next year. Those companies are expected to allot $13 billion of that amount to stock buybacks. However, the report said the online travel agency industry probably won't see large-scale consolidation in the near future, with Shaw noting the regulatory environment in the U.S. and Europe isn't particularly friendly to big-time mergers. Finally, Hyatt and American Airlines will make significant changes to the collaboration between their loyalty programs, writes senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. Both companies will offer more redemption options to their most loyal customers. Starting next year, members who link their programs can earn rewards from the partner program at various loyalty tiers. However, the ability for members to earn miles and points at the same time on stays and flights will end on December 31st. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skip.com. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening and help spread the word about the Skiff Daily Travel Briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skift News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released. The countdown is on for our third annual Skift Global Forum East. Join us this November 19th and 20th in Dubai as we bring together 500 of the region's most powerful travel and tourism decision makers. With executives from companies like Emirates, Accor, Dubai Tourism, and Jumeirah in attendance, this is an event you can't afford to miss. Secure your tickets now at live.skift.com and get ready to connect and learn from the best at Skift Global Forum East.